Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. I am back in my office today and I chose a book for us to read about taking a swim. What feels better on a hot day than cooling down in a pool or at the ocean or somewhere else where we can dip in the water? So I chose this book today called Swim Little Wombat Swim by Charles Fugay, and this is published by Sterling Publishers. Let's see if Wombat's gonna learn how to swim because in this picture, oh, looks like he is sinking and not swimming. Let's find out what's gonna happen. Swim, little wombat, swim by Charles Fugay. Little wombat was looking for apples. Mm, look at those nice red apples. Hello, said a funny squeaky voice. Wombat spun around. Hello, I'm Wombat. Who are you? I'm Platypus, said a funny fuzzy voice. Then with a funny shuffly walk, Platypus waddled to the pond and splash, disappeared. <laughs> Platty puss, <laughs> little wombat giggled. Platty puss. <laughs> he tried to waddle too. He giggled and waddled and shuffled and chuckled nearer and nearer to the water's edge. And then, cur splash. <gasps> little wombat sink like a stone. Look, is this the picture on the cover of the book? It is. Wombat is sinking down in the water because Wombat doesn't know how to swim. But don't worry. In a flash, <laughs> Platypus darted towards him. And before he knew it, Wombat was back at the surface. Mm, Platypus is a good swimmer. And Wombat was safely out of the water. Oh, thank you, Platypus, he sputtered. He wished he hadn't laughed at his new friend. How did you learn to swim like that? It's easy, Platypus smiled. I'll teach you. So looks like Wombat is gonna get some swimming lessons from his new friend, Platypus. First, little Wombat had to hold onto the edge and kick his legs as hard as he could. See, kick, 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 learning to keep himself up and floating. And then, he used a log as a float and he splashed all around the pond. Looks like he's having fun. Looks like they're both having fun. He splashed and kicked until he was worn out. Time for lunch, said Platypus. Little Wombat munched on juicy red apples and Platypus munched on a handful of shrimps. Mmm. Never swim on a full tummy, said Platypus. So they snoozed in the shade for a whole hour. Look, there's some pretty cool bugs in this picture. I see a grasshopper and a butterfly. It looks like maybe a millipede or a centipede over here. And then later that afternoon, little Wombat learned to paddle like a dog and dive like a frog. Looks like a frog friend helped as well. Then through the splashing, little Wombat heard his name being called. Wombat! Someone else was there. It was Rabbit and Koala. They'd come to see what he had been doing all day. Little Wombat beamed. Platypus taught me how to swim. Come on, Platypus, let's have a race. And they did. Wombat, Wombat. Koala and Rabbit cheered him on. And Wombat was paddling, look at that. I think Platypus was still a better swimmer because he's had a lot more practice, but Wombat is doing it too. No, not Wombat, little Wombat said, grinning at his new friend. I am Wombatipus. <laughs> so 
See how he changed his name to kind of rhyme with platypus? Ah, oh, that is a good story. And that is the end. Isn't it amazing how little Wombat went from sinking like a stone to learning to swim all on his own? Do any of you know how to swim? It's a good skill to have. It helps you have more fun and it helps keep you safe. So thank you for reading with me today and I will see you again tomorrow for more great books. Thanks for watching.